Absolutely beautiful, 158 thermonuclear smoke devils is about to be killed. Let's get a pet easy mode. Oh my god, that is what? Three kills in and I already have a second smoke battle staff from 165 KC. Holy, that is uh, some insane luck I have to say. Ooh, a cold necklace just like 12 kills later. That is uh, really nice. No, 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 no. Another smoke battle staff? That's 3 in 187 KC. I forgot to say, welcome to another Zero to Hero episode. I hope you guys will enjoy this thoroughly. And when this dies now, 94 Slayers. Only one more Slayer level until I can stop doing Slayer for quite a while because then I have the Alchemical Hydra unlocked and I have access to all the bosses that isn't quest related. Guess another pretty good milestone coming in, 97 strength, only two more levels until my second 99. I can probably get that fairly soon and almost 119 combat. And that's the task done, I love this task, it's actually really nice to do and the drops have been amazing so far. I swear I'm literally never going to stop taking cave horrors as a task. Look at this, two black masks again from a task in 148 kills, it happens like every time. So I could not actually get a Siliana task, I tried for quite a while but I could not get one so I'm just going to do it without a task because I want to focus this video primarily on Siliana. So this is my setup, I'm going with a Ring of Suffering, Ruby Dragon Bolts E, Diamond Bolts as well as a switch for later on in the kill, but let's see how we can do. Okay, I had 65 agility and I thought if you have a Summer Pie you can boost to 70 and go down but apparently it's not boostable. When I jump down here, I will get 70 agility. Wasn't actually too bad, but I mean, agility is by far the most boring skill in the game, in my opinion. Oh, maybe runecrafting might be worse. Not sure. So I already put the rope down on this one, so I only have to bring one more rope, and I have that in my inventory. Let's go all the way here and use it on the second one. Uh, even though my stats are actually drained now, and I'm 67 agility, I can go down. That is uh, quite interesting, but here we are outside of Siliana's room. Right, so let's have a look at how Siliana works now. It's actually a very easy God Wars dungeon boss, like really, really easy. So what you want to do is the gear I have on now, for example, is really good at ranged and melee defense with the Verax. So you have magic prayer on, and I got melee there, by the way, I screwed up. You have magic prayer on and you want to have rigor on as well if you have that and you want to hit the boss meanwhile running around to the corners of the room. So you just keep doing this all the time and you can actually outrun Siliana and you can hit and then just run again. And you see the starlight minion, the unicorn that is under the boss, that is a melee minion. But if you run all the time they move at the same speed so you will never actually get hit from melee hits. So you will only really take damage from the ranger. That's the horseman in the middle of the uh, room shooting me. You will only actually take damage from him. And if you have Verax on, which is a really, really good range defense, you actually won't take that much damage. So you can be here for quite a while. And I also brought a blowpipe because after the boss is dead, I will use the blowpipe to uh, use its special ability on the minions and heal some HP up again. So I can be here for a longer time. But essentially what I'm doing is... I'm using the Ruby Bolts Enchanted until the bosses are roughly half HP and at that point I'm swapping to the Diamond Bolts because the Ruby Bolts hit really hard if the boss is higher HP but if the boss is a lower HP it will just really damage you and do the same amount of damage that a Diamond Bolt or even lower than a Diamond Bolt E would do. So that's why I have the switch. So three kills down and I got a prey potion drop, which is really nice. It gives you a possibility of staying here even longer, but you can see that I have a lot of supplies left regardless. So I should be here for quite a while. Actually first drop, but unfortunately not a very good one. But it is nice to see something green texted on the ground. 160k or something like that for a god sword shard. So I'm pretty much out of supplies now. I have one simple sour domain brew left, but uh, I failed a bit and I think that's why my supplies ran out real quick. And also the ranger kept hitting me really consistently. So that was kind of unlucky, but 11 kills in one trip is actually not too bad. So 11 kills per ecumenical key is very sweet. And 400k loot, yeah, you, you really need the rares for this to be profit, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that a rune sword? Ah, oh, it's actually 1 in 406. Pretty much as rare as the hilt. So a bit less kills this trip, actually. I only managed to do 7 before my supplies ran out, but I had too many restores left, so I probably brought too many. But the ranger can ramble you sometimes, which really sucks. Another god sword shard. Uh, it's not the same one, but it's pretty much exactly the same value, so not the best. 
So I'm going to take a break from Siliana now at 46 KC and I'm actually going to try some general Grador. So this is the loot I got 1.5 mil, but I am really scared of general Grador to be honest. So I think most people actually do bandos in a group and I've seen that he can hit really really hard so I think soloing him is going to be kind of a weird place for me as a beginner as well on the boss but I really want to get both General Grador and Siliana out in this video because that's all the God Wars boss is done after that and a Sarah God Sword is way too expensive for me. Uh, but I'm going to buy a Bandos God Sword for the special ability and I also bought, bought full Guthans and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much all I need for this boss. With no relevance at all, I think it's time for me to swap to male. Let's see what hairstyle I will have now. Oh no. Not bald. I actually don't really like any of the hairstyles you can get, but I think this is the best one. So this is my inventory and my setup you will see in just a bit. But uh, the reason why I want to do Bandos now is because after I've killed Bandos, I uh, have killed all the bosses in the God Wars dungeon on Old School RuneScape and I've covered all of them for this series. So I'm probably not going to do a ton of Bandos kills at all, I just want to learn the boss and see how it is to kill it on my own. As I said, soloing it is not that good if you're a beginner. So on my first attempt I actually didn't even have a, a BGS spec because my uh, special attack ability was drained from going down to the God Wars dungeon. But uh, even though I didn't have a spec on my God Sword, which is actually really huge on General Grador, it hits really consistently I've heard, I actually managed to kill it without too much trouble. Which, I mean, I used like two anglerfish or something, or three maybe. And I didn't really get hit that consistently at all, but in the future kills that I did, I got absolutely demolished. I didn't die once on this trip, or in general from Bandos, I did two trips. But you can see now that I'm not really hitting him at all, and I get hit for 25s and all that, because the boss can hit you through, I think it's hitting me through prayer, or maybe it's a ranged attack that it does. And it hits really consistently, and it pre hits pretty hard as well, it can hit like 40s and stuff I think. Um, but I managed to get my first kill right there, and I don't know why, but the death animation is so long, the loot doesn't spawn for ages. But the first loot was a rune to age sword. So on the second trip I actually only managed to get one kill, and that was a snapdragon seed, which was not bad at all. But you can see now that I'm taking so much damage, like, I have no more Saradomian bros, and I tried to kill it before dying, but, I mean, even at 57 HP I just had to tell you out. So this is actually going to be the last kill that I do for this video on Bandos. I did 5 kills in total and the loot was nothing special. I mean, I got 2 Snapdragon Seeds, which is really good. It's probably the best drop that you can get outside of Bandos items. And I just feel like I know how to do the boss, but doing it solo and not doing it the mage way, which is how you can stay here longer. I'm not going to talk about that because I don't fully know how it works. Um, but with melee gear and all that, I, you're supposed to hit it twice and then walk under it, hit it twice, walk under it, it really is not hard. But I really can't do the prayer flick from the minions meanwhile fighting the boss and I don't think I can learn that in a small amount of time. So I will have to learn that before I go into this boss if I'm going solo in the future. So all of a sudden I'm at Venonatis because I wanted to try some Venonatis. It is actually... Quite an interesting boss. I'm using the Varax gear because it can hit through defense and Venonatis defense is absolutely nuts. Now the thing is Venonatis actually has a chance of one-shotting you at any time, hitting double 50s. But if you have Saradami Bruce you can actually survive that because you get above 99 HP. But you also bring a cannon because the cannon does a lot of damage to Venonatis. And the thing is you can actually fight Venonatis in save zone pretty much because if you're combat with a boss it can be both multi zone if you walk like four steps to the left right now it is multi but if you stand in this area that i'm standing in right now it is single target so if any pkers come right now i can't get pk'd because the boss is in combat with me so i'm actually really really safe killing this boss and uh, that's why you, I'm comfortable with bringing a lot of gear, like uh, this Verox gear, my cannon and all that. I'm actually risking like 1 mil if I die right now. So that's why I was comfortable with bringing all this to the wilderness, which I would never be when I was killing uh, Vetion and all that. So I actually want to try some attempts at killing Venonatis. And the boss is supposed to be really good profit. It can drop you things like 100 grimy snapdragons, which would be like a 1 mil, which is just nuts at this point. And you can see that I'm hitting fairly consistently. And sure, my supplies are draining pretty hard because it can hit you very, very hard. But um, still, it's it's not too bad. Let's see what the first loot is going to be for my first Venonatis kill. 
Diamond bots, 31k. That's not too good, but it is a drop at least. Second kill coming in. Let's see what we get. Oh, supply drop. That is not too bad. Maybe I can stay here for another kill actually with that. Indeed I could. Let's see what the third loot in one trip is going to be. 50k super composted. Drops are consistently valued pretty decent. Wait, hold up. Is that the uh, actual C engineer trying to PK me for my Varax? Come on, dude. That doesn't feel right. A noob PKer versus C engineer. I'm telling out. You might be wondering why I'm standing here and not at Venonatis. Well, I teleported to the Corp Cave. I walked out one step with my cannon in my inventory and everything. And I got killed by like seven d -clawers instantly. And I just lot lost all motivation to do Venonatis with that. So I'm, I'm definitely going to get back to the boss in the future. But I just lost all motivation when I got one shot for like one mil. So I'm sorry if it feels like this video is all over the place, but I just bought Pegasian Boots and I sold my ACB and uh, bought a Dragon Crossbow instead so I could uh, afford the Pegasians. And I'm going to go back to Siliana. So I'm actually going to grind Siliana now for the rest of the video and uh, hopefully get some drops. And I just got 92 range, by the way. That's uh, primarily why I'm recording here. But uh, let's get some structure back to the video. Funny enough, that's actually the first magic seed that I've got in 90 kills. Still no drops, but... 120k seed is pretty good. Kill number 100 coming in. If I don't get a drop here, I am 100 without a drop. And that is rune darts. So 100 kills without getting a drop. Pretty sad. Finally, Saradomin sword. And now that is like the worst drop you can get. It's only 700k, but it is nice to have a drop now at 115k seed at least. I think that was a total of 15 trips for 125 KC and that means I used 15 ecumenical keys and I think I'm going to end it right here. So as you can see I now have 125 from zero Siliana kills and I'm really happy with that and I feel like I perfected the boss really in those kills. Of course a twisted bow would be the optimal way of doing Saradomin but I unfortunately don't have one build to spare and uh, using the dragon crossbow worked okay anyways. And also the 5 kills on General Grador and I think the 3 kills on Venenades. I mean, I've definitely not perfected those bosses, but I have tried them and I do understand how they work. They're very easy bosses, I just wanted to get them out of the way and try to learn them and I feel like I understand them as I said. So I will definitely do more content on both of those bosses in this series in the future. But as I said, sorry for the uh, confusion earlier with like, ah, uh, randomly doing Bandos, randomly doing Venenaris. But at the end of the episode, at least, I did get a Saradomin drop and I did do a lot of Saradomin kills. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. Have a good one, guys.